Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. Ah, yes. I had to get my hands on this. I, you know, I saw it on Knife News and I was kind of intrigued. You know, you buy what you like and this was an, uh, a design that I found attractive. Even though, you know, I'm not a huge, huge fan of all black knives, especially coated blades, because coatings scratch off. In this case, I made the exception because uh, I really like the design. The six shooter inspired blade, supposedly. And it's, you know, to me, I don't know, but I'm thinking assault rifle kind of takeoff look in my mind. I mean, the way I look at it. Now, you got this lanyard hole out the back here which is kind of nice. It's integrated, you know, as kind of a backspacer as well. Open design. Here's a standoff here. And then of course you got this backspacer, which is integrated to the lanyard, etc., etc. Pocket clip, not terribly big, pretty much a deep carry in my mind. So I like that. Two screws holding it in place. How about left hand? Oh yeah, you can do that. So right hand, left hand tip up. A Tanto blade with a single VEF serration. So you can use that for, just about cut the tip of my finger. For <laughs> cutting things other than your own finger um, yeah, and that's sharp. So that's that's handy. That's useful. 8CR 13 MOV steel. So, you know, it's kind of par for the course for this kind of a price point for CRKT. Although, you know, I, well, I get myself in trouble all the time when I open my mouth. And so here it goes. You know, I really like the CRKT line when I look them over. If if we're going to equate CRKT in the same market segment as Kershaw, I mean, there is no equivalency between CRKT and, and zero tolerance, but the Kershaw versus CRKT, I keep finding myself coming over to the CRKT side like 90% of the time. So I don't know how you guys feel about it, I do. I, I there's there's something about it. I don't know if it's the fact that their knives function well. It's the design aspect. It's certainly not. It's certainly not like superior steels necessarily. Because eight CR thirteen MOV is kind of your standard deal. Although even Kershaw will get into some Sandvik here and there, but. And these will get into some 440 or OS 8, that kind of thing here and there. So this is a liner lock knife. I like the action on it. It's pretty good, even though this is not an IKBS bearing system. And I, so I was kind of just staring down it and you can see the white synthetic. So to me, those are, you know, like nylon or Teflon washers. But for some reason, you know, it's got enough of a detent on that liner lock. That's pretty good. So, you know, you get enough energy stored, bam, it flies open. So, I don't know that it, I mean, would I like IKBS? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I always prefer that, a bearing system if I can get it. But, you know, does this break my heart? No, not really, actually. Uh, actually, the action's pretty decent if you were curious about that. For this one, now here's here's the lock up on it. Get this out of the way. Okay, so everything's black on black. So this is like 30%. Disengagement's not difficult to do. You've got a pass through here and you've got a jimped liner here that's above grade. Uh, you can tell also if you looked that there's jimping on the flipper tab as well. You've got kind of a nice pivot here. 
somewhat decorative. Of course, you know, on the back side is all business for your Torxes, which is fine. That's great. I mean, this is the kind of deal you want with the knife like here. This is under $40, like $37 on Blade HQ. And so, yeah, uh, it's not terribly expensive. Um, let me grab a piece of paper, see if I can do anything. You know, when you get the serration thing, you got to kind of get out of it. But yeah, um, here we run right into it. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you got some, some sharpness here. Uh, yeah. It does all right. And then you got this little baby doll in here to cut away at, you know, paracord or rope or whatever you want. So, yeah. I mean, actually, yeah, it's good. No complaints. I mean, it's not like I expect necessarily the world out of a knife that's $37, whatever. $37.95, maybe? So, the Septimo, I guess maybe I didn't say that at the outset. Sorry about that. Forged by War, liner lock, knife, 3.6 inch, and it's all black, 70-50. You know, a little over 8 inches long, 3.6 inch blade. ACR 13 MOV, Tanto, hollow grind, black, plain, blah, 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 blah. Okay, aluminum handle, and you got a stainless, you know, liner. There's your weight. That's not bad. It's under five ounces, and you know they're they're talking about the uh, Valdez, Jeremy Valdez, uh, Green Beret, uh, doing this in collaboration with the Forged by War program. Uh, so there you go. Ten percent of the profits donated to the veterans' uh, charity of choice. And of course, Septimo means seventh. So, seventh uh, special forces group. Six shooter inspired uh, blade. I don't know. It looks kind of like assault rifle looking to me, uh, which I think is really cool. So, there you go. Everyday carry uh, 7050 model. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Um, kind of badass looking. I, I like the design. Let me tell you about this. You've got a little bit of jimping here that's almost insignificant and you can almost not even feel it. Uh, so that's not really an issue. Uh, but you have it, this up here helps you have a thumb ramp. So you do have some something to kind of push up against here and go. Um, if you want to cut the tip of your finger off, it's real easy. Just just pretend that this is a joil you can use. Oh my God, that what a mess. But I mean, you know, as your hand fits here very well ergonomically. You know, so many handles are pretty ergonomic, but they can be kind of different in design. And this one is really a very sensible, straightforward design. Finger grips right there. And you know, you got the jimping on the flipper tab, which turns around and helps keep your finger back off of that ever dangerous serration right there. Dang straight, boys. Dang straight. But you know, easy to disengage, easy to open, feels good in the hands. Reverse grip, easy to get to. Um, where's my balance point on this dog? It's kind of back a ways, isn't it? Hmm. Handle's probably a little handle heavy, maybe. Let's put this blade down here. And we're using... We're using it all. But I can't slice my finger open so that's a good thing but it's it's there it it can't be any longer it's making good use of that and you're talking about 8.1 inches so with a 3.6 inch blade 
you're getting about all you can out of there. And if you can even see Bertha with this contrast, but it's, yeah, three and five eighths, between three and five eighths and three and three quarters. So it's, it's 3.6 inch. So it's like 90 millimeters, a little over that. And eight and a quarter, kind of almost, really close, which would be about, what, 21 centimeters? Let's get back on track here. And not quite, but really close to 21 centimeters. So, what do we got for blade stock? Oh, we got a hole in the middle here, so that's not going to measure too much. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch would ought to be a little over three millimeter, which it is just a tad over three millimeters. How fat is it? Pretty fat in the middle. Can't get that one around it. So it's going to be over 0 0.5, 0 0.56. There you go. So that's a handful, 14.5 millimeters, which a lot of handles are like 12, 12.5. So that's more of a handful. This knife is more of a handful, which is good. And it's an aluminum uh, handle. And this is grippy in here. This insert, it's got traction and it's got width. It's got contour. Yeah. Gives you something to grab onto, which is good for a, a, a hard use knife, which I would imagine that's what this is. Right, left hand, tip up, thumb ramp, comfortable, flips well, sharp, should be fairly easy to sharpen. Don't know about this here. Uh, I guess if you had like a ceramic or diamond rod or something you could go in or sometimes they just hit them from the backside to refresh this. In any case. Attractive and big enough, you know, you've got some blade here. Hold on, where's my, my comparison knife? It's, got, it's just right about the exact same size. As the Manix. Really, really, really close. Blade length is bigger. But handle length, they're making pretty efficient use of that blade in this handle. See how the scale is a little shorter on this one than the Manix, even though the Manix blade is shorter. So really efficient use. Uh, so closed length, you know, is, uh, is a better deal. Considering the blade length that you're uh, putting out there. How crazy is that? Yeah, I like it when it's really efficient with, they're using a lot of the, they're using the extent they can here to put the biggest blade possible in a reasonable size uh, handle. That's good action. It's really good action. I haven't done anything. I just took this thing out of the box. You, you want to ask me how detent is? Can you shake it open? Yeah. It's at least a six and a half to a seven on the detent scale. I mean, you can get it out of there. But, you know, it gives you enough detent so you can deploy without much worry about fail. Can you fail it? I'm going to fail almost any knife. You just let go once you break through that detent. But if you just follow the flipper tab down, it, it, it snaps right open. So it's kind of a snappy action. It's not like a swinging gate, you know. It's pretty snappy. Good action, you know. Decent weight, under five ounces, pocket clip, deep carry, but not overwhelming to the design. And the design's pretty attractive. Kind of a badass looking knife, pretty decent sized knife, 
but still very EDC-able. Gives you some contouring and some width in the handle to really fill your hand. Yeah, I like it. I think it's interesting. And, you know, 38 bucks. Okay, so it's, it's not costing you an arm and a leg. And they're not going way out on the materials, but you got an aluminum handle with an insert in the in here for traction. Eh, the, this steel's not world class, but it, it sharpens up, feels comfortable, and you're not giving up anything as far as right or left hand, and you get the lanyard hole. Hey. I kind of like what CRKD does. I mean, they they got a lot of knives that are really good. The Outrage, the Canyon one. This has got IKBS, of course. But I mean, they just make some really solid knives that really behave well. Uh, just my opinion, you know. And like the Pillar, which is a fairly new one out. I mean, that's just a cool little frame lock uh, knife that I think is, is really cool. So I, I just think they're doing a lot of quality uh, pieces uh, in that budget price area. Hey, thanks for joining me. Subscribe if you'd like. Uh, keeps up uh, on the new uh, videos we release. Also, you know, you get to follow to see when the next giveaway is and or table sales where you might have some uh, interest in some of the knives that we uh, turn over. Because you know what we do on this channel. We love them knives. So stay sharp.